Welcome to our lectionary text for this fifth Sunday of Easter. Let us pray. O oh God, you give us your Son as a vine apart from whom we cannot live. Nourish our lives in his resurrection, that we may bear the fruit of love and know the fullness of your joy. Through Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. A reading from Acts. An angel of the Lord said to Philip, Get up and go to the south to the road that goes down from Jerusalem to Gaza. This is a wilderness road. So he got up and went. Now there was an Ethiopian eunuch, a court official of the Candace, queen of Ethiopians, in charge of, his, of her entire treasury. He had come to Jerusalem to worship and was returning home. Seated in his chariot, he was reading the prophet Isaiah. Then the spirit said to Philip, Go over to the chariot and join it. So Philip ran to it and heard him reading the prophet Isaiah. He asked, Do you understand what you are reading? He replied, How can I, unless somebody guides me? He invited Philip to get in and sat beside him. Now the passage of the scripture that he was reading was this. Like a sheep he was led to the slaughter, like a lamb silent before its shears, so he does not open his mouth. In humiliation justice was not denied him. Who could describe his generation? For his life was taken from this earth. The eunuch asked Philip, About whom, may I ask you, does this prophet say this, about himself or someone else? Then Philip began to speak, and starting with the scriptures, he, pro he proclaimed to him the good news about Jesus. Then Philip began to speak, and starting with this scripture, he proclaimed to him the good news about Jesus. As they were going down the road, they came to some water, and the eunuch said, Look, here is water. What is to prevent me from being baptized? He commanded the chariot to stop, and both of them, Philip and the eunuch, went down to the water, and Philip baptized him. When they came up out of the water, the Spirit of the Lord snatched Philip away. The eunuch saw him no more, and he went on his way rejoicing. But Philip found himself at Azus, and as he was passing through this region, he proclaimed the good news to all the towns until he came to Caesarea. A reading from Psalm 22. From you comes my praises in this great assembly. I will perform my vows in the sight of those who fear the Lord. The poor shall eat and be satisfied. Let those who seek the Lord give praise. May your hearts live forever. All the ends of the earth shall remember and turn to the Lord. All the families of nations shall bow down before God. For dominion belongs to the Lord, who rules over the nations. Indeed, all who sleep in the earth shall bow down in worship. All who go down to the dust though they be dead, shall kneel before the Lord. Their descendants shall serve the Lord, whom they shall proclaim to generations to come. They shall proclaim God's deliverance to people yet unborn, saying to them, The Lord has acted. A reading from 1 John. Beloved, let us love one another, because love is from God. Everyone who loves is born of God and knows God. Whoever does not love does not know God, for God is love. God's love was revealed among us in this way. God sent his only Son into the world so that we might live through him. In this love, not that we loved God, but that he loved us and sent his Son to be the atoning sacrifice for our sins. Beloved, since God loved us so much, we ought to love one another. No one has ever seen God. If we love one another, God lives in us and his love perfected in us. By this we know that we abide in him and he in us, because he has given us of his spirit. And we have seen and do not testify to the Father and sent his Son as a Savior of the world. God abides in those who confess that Jesus is the Son of God, and they abide in God, so that we have known and believe in the God, the love God has for us. God is love, and those who abide in love abide in God, and God abides in them. Love has been perfected among us in this way, that we may have boldness on the day of judgment, because we are his, so we are in this world. There is no fear 
in love, but perfect love casts out fear, for fear has to do with punishment, and whoever fears has not yet reached perfection in love. We love because he first loved us. Those who say I love God and hate their brothers or sisters are liars, for they do not love a brother or sister whom they have seen, cannot love God whom they have not seen. The commandment that we have from him is this, those who love God must love their brothers and sisters also. A reading from John. Jesus said, I am the true vine, and my father is the vine grower. He removes every branch in me that bears no fruit. Every branch that bears fruit, he prunes to make it bear more fruit. Abide in me as I abide in you. Just as a branch cannot bear fruit by itself unless it abides in the vine, neither can you unless you abide in me. I am the vine and you are the branches. Those who abide in me and I in them bear much fruit, because apart from me you can do nothing. Whoever does not abide in me is thrown away like a branch and withers. Such branches are gathered, thrown into the fire and burned. If you abide in me and my words abide in you, Ask for whatever you wish, and it will be done for you. My Father is glorified by this, that you bear much fruit and become my disciples. <laughs> 